my name is Anthony Carroll. Um, I'm the president of Powen Energy. We are one of the largest manufacturers and deployers of energy storage platforms in the world. We're based in Portland, Oregon, but we have offices pretty much all over the globe. Um, we've been in this business for over a decade, and we recently were awarded largest battery project in the planet. So looking forward to sharing more with everyone about that. Well, referring to trends, what we're definitely seeing around the globe is much more interest in sustainability, much more interest in just the concept of saving the world and reducing pollution and reducing uh, coal plants and traditional power generations that are definitely not, not good for the sustainability of the planet. And what we're also discovering is that the grids all over the world are not getting any younger. So we need new grids, we need more resilience, we need more ways to adapt to natural disasters like fires or storms or floodings. And batteries actually play a key role in that entire modernization of the grid all over the world. So if you ask me three reasons why batteries are, are extremely important, one, because we need more power in the grid because we're growing more and more and every company, every household just continues to need more energy. So batteries help stabilize that grid. Two, because we all want more renewables in the world. So the more solar and wind get installed, something important to know about those renewable sources of energy is that they're not generating all at the same time. So basically, obviously you're doing solar when the sun is up in the sky, you're doing wind when there is wind, and that creates intermittency in the, in the grid. Batteries basically serve to fill in that challenge and deliver more sustainable source of power in, in that process. And the third point is actually, I think one of the most exciting points is because we have very large energy generators that are, I think I want to believe part of the past, like coal plants or nuclear plants, as we retire those plants, we actually have an amazing infrastructure that was already built around those plants to be able to use that power. And what batteries can do is come in there and replace that power with a stationary storage that is able to really allow that grid to continue to operate. So if you put those three together, we believe that this is really the time for batteries at a massive scale all over the world. So we're definitely seeing a couple of trends in our industry. One is there is a trust right now in much larger installations. I think until today, there was a concern around different types of technology. Um, you know that batteries include different types of chemistry. So there was a discussion around which chemistry was the best, which had the best performance. And also during COVID, during the logistic crises where pricing kept kept growing and also raw materials kept increasing in cost, there was definitely a turning point where our industry had to decide if the world and the largest companies were going to invest in energy storage or continue to be concerned about the market fluctuations. So what we've seen over the last few years happily is that all of these large companies and also countries investing in having the right a regulatory framework to be able to deploy large storage is all coming to, to fruition at the same time. So if you take the largest battery project in the world that I just told you about, this project's in Australia uh, with our partners at Acacia and BlackRock, the largest asset management fund in, in the planet. And basically a coal plant was retired about a year ago and the government decided to issue a tender to more than 30 international corporations that responded to that tender in order to build about 1.8 gigawatt hours of storage. And that's a lot of batteries. Um, and in the end, Acacia and BlackRock were awarded with the project and they selected Powen as their supplier for, for those batteries. So we're basically going to deliver about 2,800 of our very large batteries over the next two and a half years. So just to give you an idea of the economy of scale, how long it takes to build that equipment, how long it takes to ship it and to install it, we're gonna spend the next two and a half years delivering those amazing batteries into that project in Australia. And we're seeing so many large global corporations follow the footsteps of, of BlackRock in developing similar projects in the US. We have at least three pipelines very similar in scale that will be publicly announced uh, very soon. So we're actually really excited. 
It's not just a matter of developing lots of smaller projects all over the world. It's really an economy of scale. And our solution is being trusted for those amazing, great projects. Resiliency and grid stability is fundamental in our current culture and our current world. Um, no matter how big or how powerful a grid is, if it's not stable, it's useless because that can mean that you can be without power at the moment most important in, in the day or in the month, or especially if you're a company producing something that can cause millions of dollars of losses. So the same way that now we want batteries in our home to avoid the blackouts, especially if you ask people who live in California, everybody's absolutely excited about their batteries in their home and being able to go off grid because that basically means that you're not exposed to potential um, blackouts. Uh, if we put that to a bigger scale, what we're seeing right now is that reliability is much more important than price. And you need to understand there are dozens of different types of batteries and every person and every company has a different approach to what they think the best solution is. What I would say with regards to grid stability and reliability, it's really important, one, to have a very strong supply chain. And we've seen the issues around that. Two, to select a good partner. Um, we actually acquired a company in Spain that builds inverters. Um, something very fascinating about batteries is they're all connected to a piece of power electronics that basically transforms that DC power into AC power. Without that little box, your batteries don't work. And they represent 10% of the cost and 90% of the challenges you have with big batteries. So what we did was we actually went out to Spain in Europe and found that amazing company that we acquired, EKS, that has their own technology, their own software, and we paired them with their batteries. So tying that into grid reliability and grid stability, one of the secrets that we understood was that if you're vertically integrated, you can definitely deliver that life expectation and that uptime that utilities and users demand.